right next to a wall. They're going to want their bubble. So you put that wall up right here, and she's going to say, oh, she, yeah, look, she's got a wall over there. So now she's like, oh, no. Whereas here, yeah. Oh, really? We're going to, I know, there's a wall over there. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's hard in here. We'll do it outside more. <coughs> so you're, I know, now we're good. Yep, yeah, you're fine. I'm, I'm going to stop poking at you, okay? So this part, front half, middle part, a whole horse, back part, the hind end. Think of it as gears, if you want. Using those buttons. I <laughs> know, honey. So if I'm in this, let's see, and now she already knows, because we're in a tiny area and I do it so much with her. If I move to the other side of her, she knows she has to move away to allow me to spot. So if I'm over here, and I'm going to say over, she's going to move her butt over. Good girl. Yeah. Nope. And when you're teaching them on the ground, you're going to reinforce, no, nope, I want that side to go that way. Yeah, there you go. Just a little step. Just a little step. I <laughs> know. Why do you keep poking me over? There you go. Good girl. Now, if I come over on this side, she's going to instantly step over. Oh, no, no, you're not going to. There you go. Because she knows before I touch her, that's what I'm going to ask for. I'm going to didn't even touch her. Good girl. <laughs> and then she's already moving back because she knows I'm going to do it. Good girl. I know, huh? You're not usually this kind of lesson horse, huh?